Anguish tonight for a Modesto father. His daughter's body was found after being run over by a lawnmower. Tonight, he's demanding answers about her death and how her body was treated. All what I want is justice, justice. That's all what I want, to investigate the, 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 because they killed her. The company that owns Beardbrook Park, where Christine Chavez's body was found, is calling this an accident. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ty Steele. And I'm Edie Lambert. A spokesperson for the company says a landscaping contractor was cutting the grass and couldn't see her as she was lying in a tall weeded area. Chavez's family says she was homeless and often slept during the daytime. They told KCRA 3's Leanne Denyer they believe her death was fully preventable. The family of 27-year-old Christine Chavez believes her death never should have happened. She was really nice, you know. Now um, she's dead. The Modesto Police Department says Saturday around noon, a Grover employee was cutting the grass at Beardbrook Park on a tractor with a pull-behind mower. Police say he noticed a body in the grass that he had already passed through and called 911. She was pronounced dead. We want to try everything, you know, to, to get justice. While the Stanislaus County coroner is still investigating an official cause of death, the family is demanding a thorough investigation by the Modesto Police Department. I know that if you are driving a tractor, you can see even it, it, the small uh, rocks. You'll see, a, a, I mean, a, a one, one person, you will see one person in front of you. It's a lie that, that they didn't see here. And at the Modesto City Council meeting Tuesday. The guy driving the mower did not even bother to ask her to move. He ran right over her. An advocate for homeless people pleaded with the council to look into the incident further. It has to take an advocate to go out there and scream to the world and raise enough awareness and, and get as much media in involved. So there is a professional investigation done and it's done right. Des Martinez told us she got a frantic phone call from Chavez's father on Monday and came right to Modesto to try and help. She's a beautiful girl, beautiful young girl. She had a family that loved her and, and for the trauma that they're going to have to endure for the rest of their lives, this is visions that they will never get out of their head. I keep going because I need to. I, I, I'm looking for justice and I'm going to be I'm going to be there, you know, until until something happens. In Modesto, Leon Denier, KCRA 3 News. And the police department noted that that park property no longer belongs to the city. It was transferred to the new owner, Gallo, on just Friday. In a statement to KCRA 3, a spokesperson for ENJ Gallo Winery says it's cooperating with law enforcement and expressed their condolences to the family of the victim.